So we are on our way to hike up to the top of this peak here, which is called Dragon's Back. We haven't really prepared. We've got <laughs> we've, we've got a fruit shoot each <laughs> and a bag of crystal share. So not the best prepared, but it's a lovely day. I'm knackered already. <laughs> I don't know if I'm halfway yet, but I'm really out of breath already. So it's a hard one. You have to scramble on all fours for some of the way. This isn't a big one. Why? What do you mean? Well, over there. What do you mean? This is something else. I thought this was the hill. I think it's called Pussy Boy Hill. Oh. Oh no. This isn't even it. God, look at this view as I pan around. Absolutely beautiful. Gosh, it is no easy feat getting up this though. Chris is making it look easy. Yes, please. Gummy, you got CBD. Mm, try one. Thanks. Calm Club. Calm Club. 20 milligrams. Mm. Mm, nice. That'd be good to camp up there. Where them two people are. So you come down a bit in the middle valley at the top. just scrambling down it was really hard and there was quite a few walkers that were just sort of stuck halfway but I think the next bit Chris reckons is going to be pretty chill so it's just that bit behind us which bit well let's have a look oh my god what you want to go down that right then let's go I thought we were just going on a little stroll today. Oh. What the fuck? Perfect circle. <laughs> what was that, a chicken? That steep on camera. No, Look at that beautiful light. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's some people trying to get down it at the moment and you've really just got a scale down the side of that rock face We're having a little um, lunch break just before we climb up there. Yeah, but we've just come down, well, we've gone up the side of that dragon's back thingy there and then down, scale, scale down some like rubble mountain and then back up this little ridge. And then uh, got some wild boar and apple crisps and some oat biscuits and uh, a homemade chocolate brownie. We are on the last little stretch now, he says, oh. but I don't know if I believe him. <laughs> you look tiny. <laughs> are we nearly at the top? I need a minute. <laughs> We've been met with some little friends, can you see them? But it's really difficult, this little last bit. My thighs are burning and there's no point filming much because I'm just gonna be panting down the, the camera or the microphone because I'm so out of breath. Hi, sheep. It's only 425 meters. Is that it? Yeah. Why do I feel like I've just climbed 2,000 meters? Are you joking? 425 meters apparently. The view is incredible. Chris was just saying he reckons this would be a good spot for some mushrooms in the autumn and I very much agree. Lovely sheep field, lots of nice mossy grass with sedges and a lovely view of the dragon's back over there. We've walked pretty much the whole thing now and we're just walking back to the little village where the car's parked. But we're taking the leisurely walk along the path around dragon's back now because my legs are dead. We're just walking back to the car now, to the little village where our car's parked. But behind me, you can see the route that we walked. So let me turn you around and show you. So we started just at the bottom of that little hill there. And then we walked up, climbed all the way up onto the top, scaled all the way back down, and then climbed up that mountain and then back down. I say mountain, it's not a mountain, is it? It's a hill, <laughs> but it's a steep and big hill. And it's actually quite difficult considering I thought we were just going on a little chilled stroll today. So instead of taking the easy path round, Chris has decided to do a shortcut. What's your shortcut, Chris? Just over this, what? Over this hill. Just up and over this little hill? Yeah. Yeah, just a little down the hill left. <laughs> Nearly there though. It's been quite a lovely walk definitely recommend coming to Dragon's Back. Go on. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> 